Hi, I'm Nikki Taro here at Gala 78 with artist Liz Peed on Friday, March 18th for our opening about hockey called Our Game. So Liz, tell me how you came about to using pieces of hockey gear for your art. <laughs> well, I actually play in the league in Toronto and what happened was I was doing my thesis at OCAD for a bachelor's degree, they make you do a thesis, and I was concentrating on the idea of nests. Mm -hmm. I took a hit, not that it's a contact league, but I just had to sit down for a minute. And I looked in the corner, and there was this big pile of hockey sticks, and I thought, perfect, I'll make a nest out of those. So let's get started. So then I started making paintings, less of the nest, but back to paintings. And I started using them cut up hockey gear. That's so cool. Yeah. Because when you look here, we have some, we have a skate up here, and, you know, hockey Elbow pads, pads, and the more padding, and some rubber pieces and laces and skate guards actually these are these are skate guards oh there. yeah i love them <laughs> yeah they're bumpy oh and then over here we have a very interesting landscape piece that you made too yeah and well there's a video um, also that she made on it so if you come to tonight's opening you'll get to see it but anyway <laughs> but if you're seeing this on youtube it'll be on youtube i have yes, it on youtube we'll have a too. link after the video okay but tell us a little bit about this landscape well this landscape piece is an installation and when i work much larger i realize that this piece is very large for the gallery but i generally work very very large on quite a large scale so i'll put a big piece up and then i'll fill the room with animals and trees and, and create this whole sort of diorama environment. So with this piece, I was going for more of an altarpiece to hockey and actually both sides fold around and move. And the, the sculptures I see as actors, so they have a little conversation in my head. And so I write little scripts for them when I'm, when I'm building them. And then it just happened that I had to sort of script it and make little shorts out of it. So. I don't know why, don't know why, I just do. <laughs> but I'm also playing with the idea of um, the craft of film sets and, and props and all that stuff yeah. as art objects, not just as a craft. So it's that craft art thing, yet again. <laughs> so cool. Let's take a close look at these little animals. When I came in here, once the show was set up, I, I couldn't get over these animals. <laughs> you, can so pick them up. you can pick them up. So this is the loon, and this beaver, the loon and this beaver and this loon, I actually made, um, so I looked at the back of a loony, because I didn't, yeah. I couldn't just walk out of my studio in downtown Toronto and find a loon, so I had a <laughs> loony in my pocket, and I needed a beaver, so I did the same for the beaver. You can make the bunny on the swing, you can make him swing, you can give him a push. It is the funniest thing I've ever seen. I don't know why this thing makes me laugh, but it does. And then the little one down here. That's so Ward, cute. Ward Leader. He came from an earlier installation, so I have actually two full-size deer, another rabbit, uh, a mummy beaver, so I have three beavers, and I'm getting this like entire forest of oh, hockey critters. So it's cute. bizarre, like I just, I don't know. <laughs> well, thank you very much for talking to us today. Thank you, Nikki, nice to meet you.